Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafty here, showing you how to put together the display box card. So inside the box we have the display card, together with a beautiful floral arrangement. You could of course put whatever you fancy in here. So let's take a look at some of the elements, starting with the card itself. Got a 6x4 card with a frame that will form the aperture. I've already stuck the decorative panels on. This is the back side or the outside and this is the inside. So you'll stick the long, long thin strip in the middle and then the two thinner strips to the first section that you come across on the side. Apply glue to the large flap or tab. Align the edge of that up with the first score line and then roll to form a tube. Hold it in place until that glue has fully grabbed. I'm using a book binding glue because it's low moisture content so it won't wrinkle your card and it's quick grab. You can of course use the end of a paintbrush or a pencil, something like that, to get in there and help you press down that tab. Then we'll do the same for the other side. So apply glue to the tab, align that edge up with the first score line, roll over to form the tube. And again, use something long and flat or long and round, preferably thin, to um, go inside there and just press that down. Next up, apply glue to the entire front surface of the card and then carefully position the display section on top and press down firmly. You can use the edge of a bone folder to help you smooth that over if you wish. And the tubes do fold flat, so if you want to, um, at this stage, press those down like that, that's fine. Once we get the aperture on though, you won't be able to do that. So we'll put that to one side to make sure it's fully stuck. And in the meantime, we'll bring together some of the other elements starting with the leaves. Now whichever way around you put this, it doesn't matter. And of course you can use whatever die cuts you've got available, but I have supplied the cut file for this particular leaf design within the uh, Canvas Workspace project file that you can download. So again, we're just gonna put that off to fully dry. And in the meantime, we're gonna construct some of these flowers I've done a daffodil style flower here. Again, of course, you could do whatever, whether that's to suit the recipient, the time of year, or whatever you fancy. Each flower is made up of three sections. These larger ones are the outer petals. So we're gonna shape, shape these with a medium ball tool. If you've only got a small or a large, that's fine even the end of a paintbrush, whatever you've got to hand. I'm just using a scrap of um, ink blending foam, but if you've got a rubber mat or a foam mat, again, even a mouse pad can work. So we're going to do this for both sections. We basically shape the petals first until they're nicely cupped. And then we'll turn those over and just lightly press in the middle to flatten them out again. then a tiny dab of glue in the center. And we'll use those handy reverse action tweezers to put those two pieces together. So we'll leave that to dry. And for the center section, we're going to use the small tip of the embossing tool and just press firmly around the edge to get some fluting going on. 
Then we'll turn it over and use the larger end of the embossing tool and just rub those round or rub that uh, head around to form almost like a trumpet shape. We're going to apply glue to the edge and then we're going to bring the point up until it matches on the other side. So it'll be about halfway along one of those um, scallops. And the reverse action tweezers are perfect for this. They can hold that in place while it grabs. Just a tiny bit of um, extra shaping. Just basically to create a trumpet. And then a small dab of glue in the center of the flower. And then we're going to position that in place and use the fine tip of the embossing tool to press down in the center of that flower until it's fully stuck. Just a small edit from me there. Then if you want to, you can pop a dollop of glue in the center of the flower and use a flat backed gem or rhinestone, whatever you've got available. I never have been good with flat back gems. <laughs> they ping off all over the place, but we got there in the end. So I'll pop that in the center and allow the glue to dry. And of course we've done that for the other two already. So you'll have two smaller ones and a single large flower head. Then for the box, they're constructed in the same way, so we'll start with the base which has the circular cutouts. They'll form finger holes. We're going to apply glue to two of the smallest tabs, turn the project over and then lift it so that tab comes into contact with its partner. Use your bone folding tool, tool or something similar if you wish to help press that down. Just make sure that you're getting all of the edges lined up appropriately so that this will uh, work effectively as a box. Do the same for the other end. I'll just speed that up a little bit as you've seen that already. And then we're going to apply glue to all of the upper sections which are going to form reinforcement um, pieces to make the box sides stronger. So apply glue to all of those, fold them in, press them down and make sure they're fully stuck before moving on to the next one. And that's our box base done. You then construct the lid in exactly the same way until you have this. And those are the two sections of the box. Now back to our card and I'm going to basically stick the flowers in at this point. You can of course work once you've put the aperture on. I tend to find it's easier to create this first and then work on the aperture. So I've basically positioned the larger flower initially just to get an idea of where to put the smaller flowers. I didn't really need to put the glue on but I did. Um, and what I did do is actually change my mind. I was using a dimensional glue in the center to bring that center flower out a bit further. You can, of course, use foam pads, silicon glue, or odor-free 3D gel, whatever you fancy. Once you've got your flowers in, you're going to apply glue to one side, uh, one of the tubes on the side, or columns, whatever you fancy calling them and then stick the aperture in place. Now's the time to make sure that you get things right. Press down firmly, adjust if you need to. And make sure that's fully stuck until you move on. 
Then you're going to apply glue to the other tube. And stick that down. Doing them one by one helps prevent you getting a complete mess and having to be an octopus and try and get everything in place before that glue dries. Just gently rub over so that you get everything in place and there's our display card done and we have the box to match. So that goes in, you've got the finger holes to help lift it out and there we go. There's our display box card or display card with box complete. I hope you'll enjoy making this and we'll check out some of the other projects on the blog. Thanks for watching.